Good morning, everybody. Just stopped by at Ace on the way to work and realized that I screwed up. I screwed up on on the on the piece that we're working on. So we'll go over that now. Last night I drilled and uh, tapped this hole that was supposed to be for that fitting that I got for the steam port. But I guess what I didn't know, and I had no idea that this was a thing, because I never do this, but I guess the, the, the fittings for pipe fitting and regular bolts is completely different. I didn't know that. And so are the taps. So the tap that I got was for just a bolt and not for a pipe fitting. And I guess, I mean, you make mistakes as you go doing this stuff. Uh, the guy at Ace, he gave me the correct stuff. Hopefully gave me the correct stuff that I need to, um, to do it again. And I'm going to drill it on the opposite side. But now I have to find a plug for this side. Or maybe have my friend weld it. I don't know. I think I might have something here that I can plug it up with. But it just kind of sucks because now I want to see the stupid plug on one side. Well, where I screwed up. But anyways, you know, we screw up. We just got to figure out how to fix these things. Maybe I'll just have uh, my friend Chez weld that. Weld that back shut. But now we can uh, drill on the opposite side and do everything all over again. So here we have the stupid side that I messed up, and here's the side that we needed. So now, this guy, well, of course I can't do it with one hand, but it threads in, no problem. So now we just gotta put a little bit of Teflon on this, and uh, screw it in, it's gonna be on the back side of, of uh, where I wanted it to be, but it'll be fine. Good. What it should have looked like on this side. So, that way you guys don't do the same mistake if you go this route. <laughs> Okay, so the part number you're using for the lower radiator hose is a Deco D71310. This end here is gonna go to the the water pump on the LS side, and this is the bottom where you're gonna cut it is gonna go to the Z31 radiator. This one here. It's an upper radio, radiator hose for the for the stock Z. It's a D70776. I don't have to cut this one too. And then, out of all these mixtures of hoses that Tony found, we'll make something that goes from the thermostat housing to the upper radiator. Uh, so now that we got this guy here, well, like I said, we're gonna either get this welded or plug it up. But the main reason for this guy is, uh, or at least this this specific one, is this side goes to the Z31 side, which is one, uh, one and a half inch on the diameter of the hose. And then the LS side is one and a quarter. So you want it to go from the bigger hose and then to the smaller hose.
this guy is a lower radiator hose for a Z32. And the angle fits, and this would probably fit too. You tighten the hose. Good. It'll fit. It doesn't look that bad. But I'll try it with a different hose right now. So this looks like how it's gonna stay. Maybe I'll make a little bracket for this to stay down. But the lower radiator hose actually fit pretty well. The other thing I was doing since I'm here is I'm gonna see if this belt fits. Back to the rhythm at hand. Back to this gate. Don't worry, we'll edit that out too. No. Oh, which part? What you just said. Uh-huh. <laughs> that part? <laughs> no. No, it's very oh, late. Oh shit, this is just working on his car? <laughs> <laughs> I haven't said one cuss word or anything yet, so. So you can see that the belt fits this way and it's not touching that pulley. So I mean this should be fine. I guess we'll find out once we start running it. But for now this will do. The belt, uh, upper radiator hose. I'll try and make a little bracket maybe for this to hold it down but for now this is fine. Since my friend Chez is going to take this and plug this hole up for me uh, lower radiator hose fit fine I just trimmed a little bit off this backside but the other end works perfect and then this little hose right here if you're not gonna be running your heater is for your heater hoses and this was I believe off of a car that we worked on here we swapped the motor on it and it just looked like something that would work and it did and that's the part number for that one if anybody is doing that otherwise those two hoses would uh run up to your heater if you're gonna keep your heater but yeah this was uh not too hard i mean besides me screwing this part up but oh well and then uh you can hear the compressor going off right now these guys are gonna be painting uh, this 350Z. I think they're already spraying. Yeah, they're already spraying. So besides Chez welding, he likes to paint too. So we'll see how this car comes out. One last thing I forgot to talk about is that uh, here in the future, I'm gonna be getting rid of this electronic throttle body. I'm gonna go with the cable, uh, cable driven one and we're gonna have to go through uh, figuring out what we're doing with this connector I think you just have to uh, get some of these wires either from here I think from the from the PCM but you have to get the the TPS and the idle air control valve connectors and then the other throttle body but being that this throttle body doesn't work is no good I really I don't really want to 
I don't want to get another one and I'd rather have the cable driven one. So I'm probably going to go that route. Anyways, guys, that's going to be it for this one. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed it and it's informative. And we'll see you on the next one. Peace. I'm sure this video is going to be kind of short, so I'm going to add a few little clips from a friend, Andrew, that uh, has a, a 2J Camaro, a third gen Camaro that uh, stopped by on his way from picking up the car. You know, drove cross country in that thing and stopped by on the way back to, to Cali. So I'll be putting that in. Those hinges. But I think it's. Uh, this is why I was so. It issue. is leaking a lot. It is, right? Yeah. The turbo uh, drain tube is leaking. Oh, oh yeah. My, no, it looks like it's leaking from where it seals the, up on the yeah, bottom. Right but then, but, but then I went and pulled gas on it and, and I saw like a little, uh, like a little poodle, of, a puddle of of oil like down here uh -huh. up front as well so I was like all confused I wish I knew uh, these power steering <laughs> your power steering lines like in right right down here you can see it oh yeah you can where where is it if you look straight that oh. that see that like chrome looking line what you see it in the in the camera right there Oh, okay. Right, right at the, at the gearbox. I can't talk. Dang, there was no knob, nothing. Like he left the boot all, um, all unplugged. So like I get all this exhaust fumes and shit, and get started getting on hot. Tried to put that towel over. It doesn't hit boost till like until four thousand RPM. So just when you're on first or second, just stay in it, stay in it, rev it all the oh, way, and then you'll hear it. You hear it? Yeah. What? I think I have some power steering fluid in there. I can. Let's see. Like right here. Is it like super off? Like you gotta. Oh yeah. So it's all the way up at the top. Oh, so yeah. It's just not connected. Where is it connected? Cause look, it's right there. bad pumps all that shit yeah. Yeah. The, the hr motors hands down the best mode like they they give vhr a run for their money yeah. like, unless it's a 2015 or newer vhr because those motors they like outdid themselves so they made them even better and like faster and stronger but hrs they're just because it's, it's gonna be, nobody nobody has this you know yeah especially like if if like you know how do you my plans uh, how do you register that thing you're about to find out. <laughs> you know, I got that, that's connected. Yeah, that's cool. Is that just a V6 Camaro? I mean, technically, it's a it's a six Camaro. <laughs>